for my first porn video, guys. <laughs> I'm just playing. So today I'm gonna see if I gain any level of sensation back. Then also where on my body that I'm able to feel or at least feel something. And I'm gonna be experimenting with tens and EMS machines. And I did a video using these about a year ago, but things might have changed after two years of trying these. For those that are new to my channel and don't know what kind of disability I have, I'm a T11 complete paraplegic. I was set up and shot in Home Invasion December 19th of 2019. And I already made a video talking about my three year anniversary and you can check out that video right here. So a tens unit is mostly for pain while EMS machines is pretty much to work the muscle. Anyways, I get comments all the time that these should make my legs move and to work my muscles to help my leg atrophy. But to be a complete paraplegic such as myself, it means you have no level of sensation below your injury level. And there's a lot of people that claim they're a complete paraplegic, but yet they could get erection. You're not, you're incomplete. So don't get that all twisted up. <laughs> Because when people keep insisting that these should work and then also I'm still able to get erection even after being a complete paraplegic, it kind of hurts my feelings because it's like bringing my hopes up for nothing. And I already made a video talking about my sex after spinal cord injury and you can check out that video right here. And in that sex after spinal cord video, I pretty much like went over like a lot of rude comments that I get and most of them was very hurtful but it is what it is and I just don't like to date anymore because nobody wants to date a cripple. <laughs> It's sad, but it's true. I can't have a see me like this. Ugly? No, crippled, bitch. Just people only care about sex these days, and I don't want to get cheated on. Don't try to chase me. Wait. Ready to be touched again. And I already explained all that in that sex after spinal cord injury, so if you like, you could check it out. So for those that are still confused on what to complete paraplegic, imagine a car battery wire that's cut. It won't start because the wire is cut. Well, that's how it is for a complete paraplegic. There's no signals going through my legs because my wires are pretty much cut, you know, which is my spinal cord. And I've been trying this for two years and there has not been any improvements, like any movements, but maybe I've gained some sensation back. All right guys, so to show you that these work, I'll be trying this on my pecs and it's gonna hurt so yeah but just to show you guys that it works for those haters saying oh it doesn't work <laughs> the things I do just for you guys <laughs> please give this video a like and also consider subscribing because yeah this is gonna be very painful for me but funny for you guys I don't know if this is good to put it right next to my heart but I don't know I'm not no doctor but eh, if I die I die who cares <laughs> <laughs> uh. Nobody rush me. Nobody. Who? This is gonna freaking hurt. Oh my gosh. <sighs> oh, okay. Yeah, I could feel it. It's only on level one, and you see level one, you can see that it moves. <laughs> this looks so stupid. <laughs> I'm like Dwayne the Rock Johnson <laughs> with his uh, peg pops. What is that? Alright guys, so it works. So now I'm going to be putting it on my feet. And to remind you, that was on level 1 and this goes all the way to 20 and I'm going to be cranking it all the way up since I know it's not going to work since I'm a complete paraplegic. And even though I know it's not going to work, I'm still going to show you guys to just shut up all the haters. <laughs> so I'm going to do the pin and this is at 20. I don't know if it's in focus, but yeah. And as you see, there's no twitching, but when I put on my pegs on level 1, it twitched. But this is at 20 and it just shows that there's nothing. So I'm trying to stay still so I don't mislead you guys. All right, so now I'm gonna be putting on my calves. Same setting, I'll be putting on the prick one and then also I'll be putting it all the way up to 20. So this is at 20. And as you see, it doesn't work. And so this is why it kind of hurts my feelings when people keep insisting that I'm still able to get an erection or this should still work on me, even though I'm a complete paraplegic. You're just bringing my hopes up for nothing and it kind of hurts my feelings. So what might work for you, it does not work for everybody. Now I'll be putting on my thighs. This is at 20. And as you see, there's nothing. And it kind of hurts to see my legs not move. I'm only almost 25 and I had my whole life ahead of me until those people beat and shot me in the home invasion. Now I'm paralyzed for the rest of my life I have to make the life that I do live as happy as I can and try to do the best with what I had no longer able to have any more kids and I wish I had at least one son and I already have a daughter so but I don't see her but I won't get into all that so now I'm gonna be trying this on my hip area all right guys so I'm cranking this up as you see this is on 20 and I barely feel anything and I see it twitch a little bit and when I did it on my pecs it was at one and it, it moved it was noticeable and this is at 20 and so for me to feel anything it has to be cranked up really high because just from the touch I'm paralyzed mid stomach because I cannot feel my belly button but with the electric stimulation I could feel it which is weird I don't know how my body works it's just I don't know 
So this is still at 20 and it's kind of hard to see any twitching. As you see, my stomach is twitching. All right guys, so now I'm gonna be putting a little higher on my side. I'm paralyzed like all the way to my lower ribs while my stomach is like to my belly button. And the chiropractor and the people at rehab, they said it's because how like the muscles are pretty much formed. They said it's like the U shape where how it's paralyzed. So it doesn't make sense, but I'm no doctor, so, but they are. <laughs> Science, but I understand your confusion. So the part that I cannot feel on my side, I'm actually able to feel with the TENS unit, but to the touch, I cannot feel my side. And that's why I have no core stability, and that's why I had to hold on to my leg, because I cannot just sit up on my own. So this is at four, now it's at five. Oh yeah, I could definitely feel this. So this one, I don't need to crank all the way up. I could feel it at four. And then of course, from mid stomach up, I could feel. So now I'll be putting it on the front of my stomach, but I gotta make sure it's away from my incision because it hurts. Yeah, I could feel this and this is at six. To remind you guys, I cannot feel my lower stomach. <laughs> it's all numb. Like to the touch at least, but with electro stimulation I could feel, but to the touch I cannot. While my hip area has to be cranked up to 20, yeah, I could feel this, of course. <laughs> As if when I put it on my side, it was barely any noticeable. All right, it kind of hurts my stomach, so. So now I'm be using a TENS unit on my back. So this is at nine or eight right now, and I could feel this, that's strange. I could feel that. So now I'm gonna be raising up just a little bit. Where I was shot at down, I cannot feel. Just like I mentioned where my mid stomach down, I cannot feel. So it's like the same level. I could feel this. And this is at three. And now I'm gonna be using an EMS machine. And like I mentioned, EMS machine is to work the muscles. One, two, bit, two, bit. So I'm gonna be putting this on my pecs to show you that it works as well. As you see, it twitches way more than the other one because EMS machine is supposed to work the muscles. I feel like <laughs> the rock. <laughs> they will not stop until you feed them. Ah! Oh! I meant to turn it off. I cranked all the way up. Oh. So now I'm gonna be putting this on my feet, and it's cranked all the way up. And as you can see or hear, it's buzzing, and there's nothing. Now I'm gonna be putting on my calves. It's on. Nothing. Now I'm gonna be putting on my thighs, it's cranked all the way up. Just doing this video, it kinda makes me feel down because it reminds me that I'm a cripple and I'll be paralyzed for the rest of my life. Nothing else well. And now my hip area, which is where I could kinda feel. Which is strange because when I had a bone infection, I had to get aspirations on both of my pelvic area and they had to stick a long needle in that area and I didn't have any medication to numb me, but it's because I'm paralyzed and so there's no need to. So it just shows that I'm actually am paralyzed and I cannot feel my lower part. <laughs> I can't feel my legs! I can't feel my legs! Yeah, I could feel this. Like from here, I could feel. But my lower part, I cannot feel. I cannot feel this part. Same with the tense unit, I couldn't feel that part. But like this part, I can. And like I mentioned, for my side, it's paralyzed way higher than my stomach. Go ahead and raise it up midways. I could feel this. At least like this part, I could feel. This part, I cannot. Paralyzed because it's not as cranked up all the way since I could feel this part and it's gonna hurt <laughs> if I did crank it all the way up. Now my stomach. And I have incision on my stomach from my surgery when I was shot and so it kind of hurts when I put the TENS unit on my stomach. Yeah, I could feel this. So now I put it on my upper stomach and even though I could feel with the TENS or EMS machines, I cannot feel to the touch because it's all numb. I could feel this. So I'm putting it on my lower back to see if I'm able to feel it with the EMS machine. Is it on there? Oh, it did. <laughs> and that just proves to you guys that I cannot feel my lower back because I didn't feel when these fell off. Putting them back in, hopefully it sticks this time. And even though I could feel it, when I was at the chiropractor and he was touching my lower back to try to show me something, I didn't feel it. And that shows just by touching, I cannot feel my lower back or my stomach. Ah! Yeah, I could feel this. <laughs> like I mentioned earlier, EMS machine is way powerful than a TENS unit. Since EMS machine is supposed to work the muscles. And that also shows you that this doesn't work on my legs. And in that sex after spinal cord injury, I talk about like using certain things to help like stimulate my private part. Back the fuck up. When did this become a whorehouse? And I've tried these of course down there and there's like certain attachments that I use and it doesn't work. So now I'm gonna be putting it a little bit higher. It's kind of hard to try to put these on and then at the same time try to balance myself. Using this on my back it hurts because T11 down my spine was fractured since I was shot with the 45 caliper which exploded my back. Yeah I can feel this. So I already know there's gonna be a lot of people in the comments talking about why well, I'm a complete paraplegic. It works on me. It should work on you as well. Just shh, get help. <laughs> 
stop it. Get some help. Your situation isn't my situation. We're all different. And that's why I made this video to show you guys what's my condition and also to show you if I've gained any level of sensation back. So to answer that question, I'll say it's pretty much the same. But when I was first paralyzed, I used to have like a quadriplegic wheelchair because all I could move was just my head when I was first paralyzed. And when I did wake up, I didn't know that I was paralyzed. I didn't know what that was. So it was kind of hard for me to like figure out on my own that I'm gonna be paralyzed for the rest of my life. And so that's why I made a YouTube channel to help you guys. And then also so you don't feel alone. Anyways, this video was very interesting for me and hopefully it was the same for you guys. Then like I mentioned, if you want to know a little bit more about my story, you can check out my video right here where I talk about my three year anniversary being paralyzed. And then right here, you can check out this video where I talk about sex after spinal cord injury. Anyways, leave in comments below what you thought of this video and if it was interesting. <laughs> and also leave in comments below if you tried these and if it worked for you.